Tina. I'm Ross. And today we have some good sounding chocolates that our viewer Richard, RTHOC71, has sent us. And we have something called Turkish Nights, which we're not familiar with. We have tried Turkish Delight, both the real Turkish Delight without the chocolate, as well as the Turkish Delight. I think it came in a little pink wrapper that had, was chocolate covered. Turkish Delight. I think these are somewhat similar, but they're more in a thin format, which sounds interesting. Yes. Yeah, what do you have there, young lady? And we're also trying two flavored After Eights. We have tried After Eights. I really like them because I'm a big fan of chocolate and mint. I love our York peppermint patties that we have here, as well as the Andes mints, that mint and chocolate. So we've had the regular After Eights. Now these are special ones. This is orange and mint. And this one is cherry and mint. So I don't know if these are seasonal flavors. It doesn't say on the package, but we're looking forward to trying these and see yeah. how they are. So the big question, what do we start first? I think let's start with the Turkish Nights first because I think that'll be a more delicate flavor since it has the rose water. Okay, I was hoping you'd say that. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> And I believe we found that these were from Poland. Yeah. I was just looking for the open here <laughs> in case I opened the wrong spot. You know, it says open. Sorry, I did not see that. But yes, uh, I believe these, like you said, are made in Poland. Mm hmm. Okay. So I'm curious, are they gonna, these going to be individually wrapped? Like. The after eights are? No. <laughs> These are not. Okay. These are actually not individually wrapped. Take a whiff. You smell the rose. Like, I do smell a little rose along yeah. with the chocolate. It looks like it's probably milk chocolate. Yes, it does look like milk chocolate. Mm -hmm. Very thin. Yes. All right, Boop. here we go. Ready? Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm. Has a little bit of that jelly in the center. Not sure if you can see that very well. Yeah. It's an interesting combination. Mm-hmm. Like a little bit more of a liquidy jelly. Te texture than, say, for example, the Turkish Delight we've tried before. Right. Oh, that, um, that rose flavor mm -hmm. with the milk chocolate. Yeah, it goes very nicely together. Like Those that. are nice, and I think I do prefer them over the other Turkish Delight, where the Turkish Delight is thicker, like you would typically see. I kind of like that, just that little thin layer of the rose jelly in there. Really nice. A bit more of the chocolate. A bit more of the chocolate. Um, I think I would have to have it side by side. <laughs> yeah, these are good. Mm -hmm. yeah. nice All course. right. Okay, so shall I put this aside? And... Yeah, next up, let's go ahead and do the orange and mint. <clears throat> it's interesting, we do like orange and chocolate. Let me do that for you. Yeah. Got it. Did I just see it <laughs> open here? Pull here. There was not a pull here, but I found it anyway. <laughs> So uh, we've said it before, I think mostly like last year, how unusual it was for us to try like a Terry's chocolate orange, chocolate with well, orange flavoring, but never with mint. Never with mint, yeah. Thought I was starting to smell it. Yeah, I can smell it. Yeah. And it says, could after eights get any better? So are they trying to claim that with the orange it's even better yet? Guess we'll have to see. Oops, oops, oops. When you say oops. <laughs> uh, yeah, it looked like there was a little oops. leakage there. <laughs> yeah, it got leak leaked out a little bit. You want to show the viewers exactly what... <laughs> well, this half looks like it's, it's doing pretty well, but yeah, that other half... Containment leak. Yeah, I don't know what happened. I mean, it hasn't been warm or anything, so... Who knows? 
But yeah, these are always really nice in these individual sleeves. Mm -hmm. That's a dark chocolate. Yes. Starting to smell a little of that orange. Mm. <laughs> Mm. Quite a bit of the orange flavor in there. Oh, yeah. I wasn't sure how that would do against the mint because mint is fairly strong too. Mm. Yeah, I think our uh, York peppermint patties need to up their game. <laughs> a little citrus. Yeah, these, these are nice. Oh. Yeah, I can't recall if if York peppermint patties have any other flavors in them. I want to say the Andes mints do. Cinnamon. Cinnamon? I was going to say cherry. I thought I saw cherry. Okay. And they may have a few others. My bad. I don't recall that I tried them though. Or were okay. they just cherry and chocolate? Now I don't remember if they had the mint in there too. <laughs> I'll have to research that. Yeah. And when we're talking about Andes, it's spelled A-N-D-E-S. I'm not sure what parts of the world get Andes mints, but something yeah. my Nana used to often have. I pick them up every, every once in a while. Yeah, I, I don't know about you, but when I think Andes, I can't help but think of like being a kid going to restaurants and always like walking past um, the cashier station where they have like the display of certs and mints. They always seem to have Andes. I do not remember that. You don't remember that? Because mm -mm. yeah. usually when the restaurants, I always think of the little wrapped hard peppermints or my favorite ones when they do the chocolate mints. Yeah, those are good. But those are like harder candies than than this. All right. Pretty ready. So next up we have cherry and mint. If I can find where to open it here. You're making me look bad. <laughs> of course you have longer nails. Cherry-ish the moment. That's what it says on that one. Okay, is there any containment leak? No, this one looks... Oops. Just one Just little one. piece there. Otherwise, looks lovely in there. Yes. Ready? Ladies first. I already got one. Oh, let me take the, the leaky one. Oh. <laughs> it says, good times begin after eight. You get some cherry in there. I feel like the mint is a bit stronger in this one, or just the, the cherry is not as strong. So you taste more of the mint. I'm tasting slightly more of the mint. Mm -hmm. But then again, mine was also compromised. So oh, same with mine. So. Yeah, I'm tasting more mint, but there is a little bit of cherry in there as well. Mm. That's still. <laughs> I like that combination. Mm -hmm. Yeah, those were interesting to try. Yeah. Um, I do love the chocolate and mint flavor in, in these after eights. Yeah, I can't help it <clears> with <throat> like some cherry flavored candies. I think sucrets. Yeah. <laughs> uh, sucrets, cough drops, um, cough syrup. Yeah, it's, it's just, you know, certain cherry flavoring when they don't hit the mark. To me, it tastes like cough syrup. Yeah, and I was I was halfway expecting. Is this going to taste like cherry cough syrup with chocolate <laughs> and mint? No, oh, these were these were good. Yeah, favorites time. Yes, ladies first. <laughs> so, young lady of the three, what was your favorite? I think I'll go with the orange and mint after eights. How about you? First, why? Just a preference for the flavor flavor combination. So you're, you're asking what my favorite is of the three. Yes. <laughs> kind of hard to say because one's non-mint, the other two are mint. I almost feel like, eh, the two minty ones, which do you prefer? Because I almost feel like these almost have like a stronger 
They do. Like a stronger taste than... That's why I wanted to do those second. I had a feeling they'd be stronger than the Turkish Delight. Yeah. I like the Turkish Nights. Yes, Turkish Nights. I'm calling Turkish Delight. <laughs> like these. But I think these have a stronger taste. And of the two... I'm going to go with the cherry. You're going to go with the cherry? Okay. Yeah. Uh, it's, again, it was such a you know, change for us to have something that's chocolate, fruit, and mint. So, I, I thought they were all good, though. Yeah. So you don't have a preference like you would just prefer to have something like this over the chocolate mint? Or does it a, depends on your mood? It depends on my mood. <laughs> I'm giving a Tina answer. It depends on my mood. I think these... Uh, yeah, I can see us, you know, watch a TV on the couch. They have a little Turkish nights. If I'm feeling like something like mint, chocolate and mint, I, I think this would be my first choice, but I like them both. Uh, certainly not going to complain about the orange and mint flavor. But, uh, yeah, I like these too. I think you like the whole choc more chocolate to filling ratio on these. I do. Yeah, and I think I like that on the after eights as well because the York peppermint patties, they're you know not real thick, but they're significantly thicker than this. The um, in, the mint inside with just a thin layer of chocolate and yeah, um, yeah. So I do like that. Junior mints. Junior mints are good too. Yes. Yep. Well, what's your preference, junior mints or York peppermint patties? Depends on my mood. I I buy them both. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I do like round. Christmas, you know I'm gonna get to. You know I'm gonna say, <laughs> or the little broken bits of peppermint. Uh, oh yeah, those are good. Okay, so I think that wraps up our tasting here. And thanks again, Richard, for yes. sending us these lovely boxes. Mm -hmm. And if you like food reactions and food tastings, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Make sure you hit the notification bell so you know we publish a new video. And until next time, bye bye. Bye.